recently I've been on TikTok. Well, that's all I can do because I have no friends physically at the moment. And it's, what's the time? It's three in the morning, actually. 3 a.m. You don't believe me? Yeah. It's 3 a.m. in the morning. And I have been obsessed with this whole Gen X stuff. Gen X versus Gen Z. And I've been in bed just searching up some uh, some TikToks about it and stuff. And I have to react to some of these because some of these are actually so funny. And it's a bit sad, you know, to realize that these are like people my dad's age. I'm a bit unsure of what actually started this whole like beef between Gen, Gen X and Gen Z and why Gen X would be beefing with Gen Z. I thought we were the like the immature ones. Like, Don't get me wrong. Gen Z, we have something wrong with us. Okay, you see a Gen Z with blue hair? Give up. Just so like there's some clarification, there's Gen X, the older ones. Actually, there's boomers, which are older than Gen X. So we've got boomers, we've got Gen X, which is, wait, I need to search this up actually. Boomers are 1955 to 1964. Gen X are 1965 to 1980. Uh, millennials are uh, 1981 to 1996 and Gen Z is 1997 to 2012. And then I assume Gen Alpha is 2013 till date. So that means Gen Z should be around 12 to 27 years old. Millennials, 28 to 43 years old. Um, Gen X, 44 to 59 years old. And Boomers, 60 to 69. What's what's after Boomers though? We have post-war. Oh, we have, oh, Boomers the second is 60 to 69. Boomers the first, you know, it, does, it doesn't matter. So without further ado, let's look at some of these TikToks. Who's going to tell Gen Z that we master manipulated them into not canceling Eminem by saying that they canceled Eminem before they try to cancel Eminem, so therefore they would not cancel Eminem? Who's going to tell them? Eminem, 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 Eminem. Who's going to tell Gen Z that we master manipulated them into not canceling Eminem? Not canceling Eminem. And by saying that they canceled Eminem? Canceled Eminem before they tried to cancel Eminem. Yeah, I, I don't know. When I popped up. You're obsessed with us millennials. Have you banned me from Starbucks? Why is she? Maybe, okay, maybe, I don't want to be rude. I don't want to be rude. Maybe it's a condition. But why is she speaking from like only this part of her mouth? Gen X. <laughs> is this the, the, the Gen X rise? Gen X rising. Okay, let's see. It's time to stop messing around and make things happen. We've got thousands of us out here who can help each other reach that 10K goal. Huh? Remember the power we had growing up? The music, the energy, the drive? Let's bring that back. We've got the spirit of resilience, the power of community, and the strength to support one another. Imagine what we can achieve when we come together. Follow, like, and comment the age you were the first time you got drunk. What? I'm commenting two years old. I'm joking. Share this video and let's lift each other up. We're in this together. Let's show the world what Gen X is made of. Hit that follow button and let's hit 10K together. We've got... I love how she's like this. Let's read some of these comments, okay? Gen X will be rising into heaven reels. <laughs> No, that's my dad's generation. Okay, no, no, no. See, this this is where like I can't I can't support this. But it's funny though. Gen X <laughs> rise up the blood pressure. Then she she replies with cool. What is this supposed to mean? Alright, okay, it's gonna be a good one. Gen Z, little question for you, darling. Why on earth do you think starting on Gen X is a good idea? This is possibly the dumbest trend I have seen on social media since a bunch of children started swallowing washing up tablets in a bid to make themselves famous and many of those folks ended up being hospitalized. You see, for Gen Z that are watching, they're a little bit confused. Take it from a millennial as I break it down for you a little bit. You see, you can take the mickey out of us millennials. We're all over social media because we invented it. But if I'm being honest, we never take you seriously because we have far too many important things going on in our lives, like working every single hour of the day for quite literally peanuts trying to figure out how we're going to pay for our next car house a wedding our children 
all of it. And we're far too subdued drinking gallons of coffee and having nicotine pouring out of every single one of our pores. You can have a go at boomers because they're all in retirement, living over their pensions, scrolling Facebook, sharing cat videos and looking at all of the pictures of their grandchildren on their bureau. You can have a go at Gen Alpha, for goodness sake, they're children, so they're easy targets. And let's be honest, they even believe that Santa Claus is real, so they'll believe... The thing is, like, boomers, I actually like boomers, though, because... My, my grandparents, like, all they want to do is just, like, sleep all day because they're retired. They just want to sleep. Like, my grandma, for my dad's side, she just wants to, like, work on a little farm and just, like, grow some stuff. My dad wants to do that as well when he gets, like, to the boomer stages and stuff. Believe anything you tell them. But Gen X? Yeah, why would I have a go with them if they believe anything I say? Why would I have a go with little kids? See, this is where it looks bad on the Gen X because, like, you're, you're having a go at, like, your kids. That's a different story. You see, Gen X, they were born between 1965 and 1980. This generation invented the phrase double hard <laughs> If ever they got a cut on their leg, they just rub some dirt in it. Maybe spitting if they had to. If they had an issue with someone, they didn't go into their comment section of their social media. No, they just went down the local boozer and knocked their front teeth out. These guys have the best work balance. Yeah, but nowadays, if we do that, though, we're going to get charged with assault work balance as well so not only can they earn utter shed tons of money but they got loads of free time on the weekends so they can turn up at your doorstep and make you look like the children that you are and when they turn up at your doorstep you've got to remember this is the 1960s to the 1980s so there's no political correctness there's no safe space and no they really couldn't care about your feelings and if i'm okay i think because like this guy is like also like mostly chronically online i know like gen I hate the term Gen Z as well. Like, who came up with this stuff? Like, people, like, in my eight, Gen Z, like, yes, online, they're more, like, um, they're more soft. They complain a lot. They do all that kind of stuff. But, like, in person, though, like, most of most of us are kind of, like, Gen X in the way, like, a lot, a lot of us are not politically correct. It's just the ones online. Regular, like, people are just, they just believe what they believe. They're not politically correct either. How long is this video? Being honest, if you're going to carry on having a go at Gen X, all of us millennials, we just... Yeah, plus if it's online, right? You claim, oh, just Gen X are the more mature ones, are the more this. If it's online, why would you come physically in person to punch someone if they're making fun of you online? That makes no sense to me. Like, if you're saying, oh, Gen, Gen X were the tough guys, were the this, why are they engaging in this online discourse? Why don't you just let the children ramble? And then after we're done rambling, we'll shut up gonna sit back with our popcorn watching them make you look like a bunch of children so i'm telling you don't do it how they're the ones saying gen x rise who is this guy oh it's called that guy gray 95 now actually on that go and do that because us millennials we're so amped up with everything that's going on we could do with a bit of light entertainment. But most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a fabulous day! And as you were. <sighs> Let's see these comments. Who ordered the Yappuccino? That's not funny. I look younger than half of the ones... Oh, I look younger than half of the ones wanting to take us on. Okay. Let's do a bit of investigation here. Well, I'll click on the profile. A child of God. Oh, cancer survivor. Never mind. Moving on. Huh? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Start that again. Gen Z wants to cancel Gen X. I don't get how you can cancel a whole generation. Yo, someone come get your grandma, bro. Comments are turned off. No, I wanted to see these comments. Like, she's doing what my grandma wants to do. Like, work in the farm, you know, have a nice life. If I saw, like, my mom doing this, I would personally delete her TikTok account. For those Gen Zers out there that don't understand the Gen X rise, let me explain. People have been using this audio and it's so funny. So let's start just here. Two minutes fifty one. It's not that I don't have the attention span. It's just not for this. I I couldn't watch a four hour YouTube video, and I would rather do that than listen to this. For those 
Gen Zers out there that don't understand the Gen X rise, let me explain it. The Gen X folks are the toughest people that currently exist in our world today. They are emotionally tough and they are physically tough. I am the oldest millennial. I was born in 82, but I had an older brother, so I was raised as a Gen X kid. And let me tell you a little bit about how we were raised. Oh, God. <clears throat> Why'd I make it so strong? Nobody was watching us. Hmm. Nobody catered to us. Hmm. Nobody gave a flying flip where we were or where <laughs> That is such a like a Gen X thing to do. Nobody gives a flying flip. Might as well just say it. We know what you want to say. What we were doing, we had to be home when the streetlights came on. And, you know, our parents just kind of expected that we would show up. And whatever happened in between, as long as we came. Your parents have to be not that strict. If you have like stricter parents, then like they're going to know where you are. They're going to know what you're doing. They're, they're, they're going to check up on you. We climbed water towers. We hopped fences we shouldn't have. We committed crimes and nobody knew. We committed crimes. <laughs> we committed crimes. <laughs> this is a segment I like to call redneck vocabulary. It's running like four pits on a foot. It's running like cow pits on a flat rock. It's coming a toe choker out there. <laughs> doing crazy stunts on our bikes and falling down and hitting our heads because we didn't wear a helmet. It was a true F around and find out situation. Here we go again with this F around and find out situation. Do you have anything else? Something new, please? We are not enjoying like kids. We say it all the time. Like, oh, my parents, we just show like the, these videos of like people like just climbing mountains and stuff. And then we we'll say, this is what my dad said he had to go through to get to school. And sometimes my dad did tell me that. He's like, do you know where my school was? My school was far. I had to get up at like four in the morning. Now I walk, walk, walk to school. After I come back, I have to go out to sell things. This is it, but like the Western version, you know? And let me tell you, natural consequences are the best way to learn life lessons. So Gen X is smart. They are mad street smart. Mad street smart. But the craziest part about them is, is that they stay completely unbothered. And unbothered? They're the ones who are responding. And so, through all this mess that we call our world, they have stayed largely unbothered. They've put their head down, they've taken care of their business, they stayed out of it. Like but they've started to get sick of it. We've pushed the Gen X to their limits. Remember when Biggie said, bad boys move in silence and violence? That's Gen X. She takes herself so seriously. She like, like this comment. Oh my God, Gen X is literally so Sigma. Like I feel like there's a certain age some of these apps should be. Like there's a certain age limit, right? You should have like the age you need to enter these apps and the age you need to leave these apps. Okay, let's look at the final boss. The Gen X final boss. <laughs> I've got a message for Gen Z. I apologize. I apologize for your mama who raised a little b What do you want us to, what do you want us to do with this information? Don't you have kids to feed? Like, go do something else. Someone said, we are a force to be reckoned with. Who talks like this? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to wrap this video up because I think it's actually a bit long now. And there's only so much I can take mentally. And I have to edit this, so which means I have to watch these again. This is as, this is as much as I can take from Gen X. Okay, this is as much as I can take from them. And I'm just done with them. Like, please, like, Gen X, please. You have better things to do. 